Ready? Yeah. All right. Happy Friday to you. This is uh, Coffee with Coach. It's been a minute. We have our baseball and softball coaches, Bailey Moore and Coach Lazeby. So listen, uh, we're in the heart of the conference season. I guess you could say that. Uh, we've got conference rolling, um, seeing some things. And about this, this time of the year, we have we, we we do have track going on, and so they're both sharing so many kids during the during the week with practice and all that. So it's like it's chaotic. So we wanted to come to you with a little bit of. Uh, stats and talk a little bit about our season so far. So we're going to start with Coach Moore with Lady Bulldog Softball. So, Coach, let's talk about – I saw some graphics the other day. You had some kids that had some good on-base percentage, batting percentage. Go ahead and discuss with those kids or those, with everybody about those athletes, and let's gloat on them a little bit. Um, so I've got a couple girls that are leaning in stats um, that are really helping our team. Um, so we do a thing called quality at bat, where basically it's just a um, production chart where we keep up with who's doing what for their team. So even though they may not be getting on every time, they're moving runners, they're, they're finding a way to be productive. And Avery Self, our pitcher, is leading the team in QAB. Um, she's also top three in batting average, uh, RBIs, and stolen bases. Um, and she doesn't even run for herself half the time. So when she does, she's <laughs> yeah, really making herself yeah. useful. Um, I mean, and her work, work ethic is just unbelievable. She doesn't quit. She's on and off the field, straight A's. I mean, she's, she's a hard worker. Um, I got sophomore Karis Pritchard. She's leading the team in batting average, batting at 429. Um, she's leading in RBIs also with seven of them. Her on-base percentage is 550, so she's getting on the base over half the time. She's second in quality of bats and stolen bases. Um, she's versatile. She's moved to the left side this year, learning to slap, putting the ball in play. Um, she's super hard working herself. Uh, I got a freshman who just came back from injury. We got her at shortstop. We had to immediately first came back, put her on the mound, Peyton Mayhar. She's yeah. just a go-getter, does what we need her to. Uh, she's leading the team in on-base percentage and um, walks. And she's top three in batting average and stolen bases. Um, like I said, she's just been clutch for us. Um, those are those are our top three stat leaders. But overall, there's some girls not on the stat the stat board that yeah. are really putting the work in, really getting some things done for us. They're being versatile. They're moving around, um, learning to play positions they've never played before. So yeah. I'm gonna brag on the managers. I know they do a lot of work for <laughs> yes, you, but they, they help do. me out more than anything. Home games and even away games when I can't be there. Home games, they set the sound up. They they just do it all for me. So Alize. Uh, Sophia, Sophia and Ava. Ava. Yeah, they're doing so good. good crew. All right, Coach, baseball time. Okay. Uh, yes, I got a few stat leaders here. Uh, we'll start with uh, our pitching. Uh, Noah Patrick's been pretty outstanding so far. He's got uh, 36 strikeouts as a, as a pitcher. That's, that's pretty solid. And we're not, we still got four games to go. Uh, so, and he's actually going to be on the mound tonight, so don't miss that. Uh, it could be electrifying. We'll see what happens. Uh, some more stat leaders are batting average is uh, Scott Gung at 375. Uh, he's been doing really well with the bat this year. Uh, I've been very pleased with that. Uh, on base percentages has been Bailey, uh, Cole Bailey. Uh, he actually just started hitting for himself here recently because I've been de-aging for him. And he's, he's, he's worked a lot of stuff out with his bat. And uh, his on base percentage is 625. So that's, that's pretty solid. And um, RBIs, uh, again, Noah Patrick's leading there with uh, seven. Of course, uh, having that grand slam, slam against uh, Fountain Lake, that really helps a right. whole lot right there with some RBIs. Uh, then, of course, getting walked. I actually have a tie between Caden Rogers and uh, Noah Patrick, and they've both been walked eight times at the plate. Uh, and then stolen bases, which is, is crucial, getting extra guys, is uh, Caden Rogers has been doing a really good job. He's got seven stolen bases so far right. in, the, in the year. So uh, we got some guys doing some uh, real good work, and I, I look forward to seeing how they finish in the, these last four games. So it's springtime, and you know as well as I do, kids are ready to get out of school. Oh, yeah. Uh, they got summer on their mind, uh, jobs, boyfriend, girlfriend, all those things. <laughs> so at this point of the season, with where you know you need to get to going into the district tournament, because that's the biggest – biggest thing about anything yes. how do you keep focus and what are you talking to your kids about because that's a I've, I've seen that discussion before but what do you what do you tell your kids this time of the year no matter what's happened up to this point doesn't matter okay yeah. but from this point forward you really got to dig in uh so how are you addressing that because i think that's something huge this time of the year well like like you just said you know districts are goal we want to be at our best during that time and so that's kind of what we keep reminding them of is you know we're, we're making errors but every error that we make needs to be one that we learn from and so just staying focused on that um, these stats really giving them you know look where you were versus where you are now how you're producing you know our stats for the most part are good we're just not getting the production that we need to get those runners across the plate and so 
um, you know, moving forward, I think we've just been really individualizing. Here's where you are. Here's where you need to be, and keeping them focused on that. And I've, I'll be honest, I've got a good group of girls. They, they've not <laughs> tough season. It's easy to give up, and they've not given up on me. They've actually worked harder, and they've stayed driven. So it's it's that's actually our hashtag, stay driven. And so I think it's very appropriate for this year, and and keep your eyes on the goal. And you've pulled the film in and let them. See we did. So we've had some film day uh, um, on our. Uh, we had a day off, you know, yeah. and instead of bringing them all in, we sat, we sat down, watched film, and had them, you know, what are five things we can work on, what are five things we did right, and they've really been reflecting on some of that stuff. Sometimes it's easier to see it than to feel it, and so um, we're young, so right. just a lot of breakdown of some things like that and keeping right. them. We'll go back and watch the first film, and they'll say, oh, my goodness, we're, we were there, the you know, yeah. so. And then the difference them. between the female and, and I think the guys are just r there's the, the fishing aspect, the, just oh, the yeah. summer go. Yeah. Girls, maybe not as much. There are more yeah. jobs, maybe some family, but yeah. boys are. Oh, yeah, you'll see a lot different. of them with so, their boats like hooked this. up to trucks. Boats hooked to up, go. ready yeah. to go. Yeah. So, so what, what kind of, what are we telling our boys at this point? You know, you've had, you've won two of the last three. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what, what do we need to do from this point forward to really sustain some of that? Oh, uh, we really talk about the continue to grow and, and build, uh, you know, get better each game. And uh, we just kept trying to remind them that uh, we're, our goal is to go to district and extend our year by one more game. And that's, that's it, it's just one more game. And that's the mentality that we gotta have. And in practice, we just gotta make sure that we're having fun and keeping the kids engaged because like you said, this time of the year, yeah. uh, most of them are starting to get kind of checked out, especially seniors getting yeah. that senioritis yeah. stuff. Yeah. And so that's the best way to keep them involved that's, that's is having a little of, bit of fun. Part of spring sports that nobody else experiences yeah. uh, the other sports because they don't, yeah. They don't, they don't see the end of the tunnel at basketball and football. It's oh, not even on their mind, but yeah. now it is. End so, of the school year, beautiful weather. It that's is. Right. It's tough yeah. to right. keep them focused. Well, it's going to be beautiful tonight. We're going to host Mina tonight here at Bulldog Stadium. Baseball, softball, both start at 430. Come on out. And if you can't make it off the couch for some reason, they will be live on Walter Bulldog TV. So uh, that'll be it. All right. Go dogs. Yep.